go ahead and log in to WeVideo. Now I'm going to go to Media. If you click the plus button or mouse over it, you will see that a little file will appear. So here's where you can make folders. So I'm going to make a folder and I'm going to call this Tilly Turn Around 2. I click Create and there's my folder. So now I'm going to click that and I'm going to click Add Media. Next I'm going to click Browse to Select. And here you can see all in a row all of your characters. Here we have the blank one without the number is the, actually the first pose and then it goes to seven because it counts this as one. I can click the top one, hold the shift key and click the last one as well. So now I'm going to click select them all and click open. Now unfortunately with this we can't see the numbers but we can see what they look like. A way to fix your view here is to select the sort option and here it will let you sort by name. If you click this, it will now put the names in and you can also change it to list view. So here you can see the first one, the second one, the third one, and it goes down numerically. So now I'm gonna to go to my projects. I'm gonna click a new project. I'm gonna give it a title. I'm gonna call it Tilly Turnaround 2. It's gonna be a personal project and then I'm going to click the next button. It's going to ask me what media I want to use. This is all my recent turnarounds, but here you see some other ones. I'm going to select the ones that say Kaiser on them because those are the ones that I want to use for my turnaround. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so those are all my turnarounds. I'm going to click next. Now I can create video. I'm going to go back over to projects. And I'm going to go back to Tilly Turnaround 2. And I'm going to create a new video. So I'm going to click Start. I'm going to go to my Tilly Turnaround 2 folder. And I'm going to double click that. I'm holding the Shift key and bringing these down like this. I'm just going to set this as, one, as 0.175 for now and I'm going to click done and you'll see that when you move this slider over things are a little are a little bit messed up so what I'm going to do is select all of them first right click and say close gaps to bring everything together now you'll see that this one got kind of large this particular one I'm going to select all of them again and then I'm going to say adjust duration and here I'm going to type in 0.175 again. And now they're all pretty much the same. I have to move this over so I can see everything. I'm going to bring the playhead over and I'm going to run it and see what it looks like. Now I think she is kind of bobbing a little bit but it's okay for now. The point is is now we have our turnaround. I can go back and adjust that. It could be because the alignment wasn't working well or maybe I had her moved over too far in one of the poses. But for this purpose, I think it works pretty well. We're gonna go ahead and click Finish. Give it a name, click Set. Here, you're going to select GIF because we want it to continuously go. Leave it at Medium and click Export. Let the GIF render. When it's done, click share your export. Here you can download the link by clicking the download button and then here you can click add or create and add your turnaround animation of your character by clicking file, upload, browsing from your computer and clicking open. You'll know it's uploaded when you can see the GIF actually working and then go ahead and click turn in.